So we're here on the hog ranch just to give you guys a feeling for what's going on. Um, we're letting two hunters go. We're checking them. We just checked them out. Uh, they're real happy. They got um, ice chests full of wild, fresh hog meat. We got three hogs in the back. I don't even know if you can see them through the window. Today is a cold day, so we weren't expecting a lot. But we got three hunters that shot three hogs. I mean, they're real motivated. We got some guys from Georgia thousand miles away apparently that um, really are motivated right now when it's cold weather you got to get in there in the brush and almost kick them up but I think one's like a hundred and seventy five pound hog and then the other two are smaller piglets but um, the guys even in the cold they're having a great time they're just bundled up warm and uh, we thought we wouldn't be doing anything this morning but we're just running around like crazy um, picking up hogs and then Danny's gonna be skinning them and then I think uh, the ranch boss is meeting with a, um, a taxidermist to talk, talk about some trophy uh, uh, boars and um, checking guys out. So there's two guys leaving today and um, just giving you guys an update what it's like here on the hog ranch. Basically, it's running around either in the golf cart, the 4x4 golf cart when it's warm, but then when it gets cold, we're running around in, in the ranch boss's truck and the best... Vehicles are the two Jeeps, the Jeep, uh, the Jeep, the Jeep Jeep, and then the Jeep truck. Those are the ones that really take the abuse. So those hunting um, quads are great if you're going to use them a couple times a year. But for a ranch, you really need a, a Jeep, a four x four Jeep. They get through the mud, they get through the dirt. They when they when they do break down, they're very easy to fix. The problem with those quads, he says. Is as they break down really quickly and the parts are super expensive so this is just day-to-day -day operations right now waiting for Paul he's actually um, checking someone out taking their money and um, we're gonna deliver these three hogs here to Danny so he can skin them and uh, after in about an hour uh, the morning walk and stock is over see they they go out in the morning early at 6 for blind hunting and then they have breakfast, and then they do a walk and stalk. Then we have lunch here. Then they do another walk and stalk. And then in the evening, nighttime, uh, they sit in the blinds. And some of the guys have big old searchlights. And the, the hogs do come out as long as with all the other exotics, too. So G for T here at the hog ranch in Texas. I'm just amazed. So many people call Paul, and they're just like, are there any hogs here? So just realize when you go to a hog hunting ranch, there isn't necessarily a lot of hogs on certain ranches he maintains his property really well and uh, they're, they're, they're shooting anywhere from 15 to 30 hogs a day here. There's that many hogs. So just realize that um, when you call, make sure and find out what their totals are, you know, when there's hunters here because then you get an idea of if people are actually catching hogs and able to have hogs because there's a lot of ranches out there that don't have them. Um, that's what I'm hearing.